meeting of Monday, January 28th, and yes, I guess the minutes do say 29th, sorry. 29th, right? Thank you, Monday the 29th. All right, excellent. Uh, minutes of January 22nd. Are we ready to say that they're fine? No. Yes. Okay, good. So by consensus, those minutes are good. Community input. Ken, did you want to talk to us about something? I understand Dennis uh, St. Helier talked about the Warren articles for keynote. Yes, Ken. Well, that's what I was going to talk about last week, but I missed I came down and I thought the meeting was at 6, and there wasn't a light on at all here at 5 yeah, minutes to 6.30. Yeah. But anyway, what I, the second problem I had was the storm drain and brook drain in back of the Legion that I talked to you about last spring. And uh, you indicated at that time that the company that was doing the other, other culprits was going to look, check that out and find out where all the sand was coming from down in, into the river. Well, yes, uh, they're coming, a, a bunch of it comes from uh, development there. Stockdale. Thank you, Stockdale Circle. And for one, uh, for two, we did check in with the Municipal Association recently about, because we, we ran into issues last time, who's responsible for what? And so we did hear back from the Municipal Association, and I have completely forgotten what they've said, but we can, uh, is there a reason why we can't just forward it along to Ken? So. You know what you really need there, and it just that that drain that I'm talking about that is I, it's fairly well collapsed. Just you know where the old dam is. No, we, I don't. Well, I'm it's, sorry. It isn't even a dam anymore. That's where the, the drain, the culvert starts. About 15 to 20 feet below that, towards the Legion side, it boils right out of the ground when I, in the high and when the high inflow of water. Like this, that the uh, two two days we had, two warm days we had with rain and all that. Well, it comes out. You know where the water goes? It goes right in the backyard of the legion and freezes. You know, there's about two inches of ice back there right now. But three or four years ago, we had a, uh, a series of what series of days of really a lot of water falling. It came down, the water came down so bad, this was in the, in the summer or spring, through the backyard, followed the uh, parking lot all the way down around the building and washed out, you probably recall that when the Foundy Street Road on, on the south side was washed out about two feet. So much water came rushing down over, all the way down there, and, and the town came up and they did fill that in, but so the problem is that drain is, it needs, some work. Do you know the drain that they're referring to? Yeah. So the issue, Ken, for us, and why we wrote to the Municipal Association, is that whose responsibility is it? Because I, okay, let me. it's between the water district and the town. It isn't the water district. The water district had nothing to do with that dam. Joe Porter gave that piece of land, or they bought it, for, the, for their water a couple wells up there. And I think Joe probably bought it off of, uh, well, I'm not sure about this. Joe Porter owned it. I don't know who owned it before Joe did. And with the dam, I think was used like when the foundry was there. Back in, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I think when that foundry was there, was the late 1800s, 90s. But you know, they had water there, and they had another little dam down Foundry Street, a little bit farther that they used for a source of water. But that's a brook. And and. And no one, in the, no civilian in the town has, can do anything with with, water, with brooks or rivers or anything like that. That is the town responsibility. And I was told this by three or four years ago when the acting road agent, he looked into it and he says, he mentioned that too, and he said he, all the culverts in town that takes care of stormwater and all that is the town's responsibility. Well... Only insofar as they are on our town-owned property. I mean, for example, if you have, if, if there was no public way between you, between someone in the Salmon Falls River, some building or something, and that building was... Um, oh, I understand what you're right? saying. So, I mean, there is... But there is some... Who, who owns the land does come into... Uh, underneath the brook? Part of the issue. It's underneath the brook. 
If that, if that tower wasn't there, there'd be a, a steady stream of water running right down beside Prospect Street and the Legion, right across the ball field, right down to the river. Do you, do you know what would fix it? You... I'm not sure, but I think the way to check and see what's wrong with it is to put, put a, re, a camera down there, like they check the lines, the sewer in lines, the, the water the sewer itself? line, and check that out and find out just, you can almost see, you don't need that, but you can see where it's broke at the top. But I also feel that it's broken down by Founder Street, too, because directly across the street from the American Legion, the, the whole ground has dropped maybe about two feet. And, it, and when we have some severe water coming down, down the, you know, from storms and everything, it washes, you could, holes will appear, and it goes, and it falls up that drain line right out so the river. You've met George, our new road agent. Yeah. Yes. Would George, would you be able to meet up with Ken and yeah. take a look at Absolutely. all of this? I don't know how much. You can see right at the moment. It's just snow on well, the Well, whenever, whenever it's I'll convenient. I'll keep in touch with you. We'll go down yeah, and take like, a look at it. If you can right. get a yeah. hold of him, yeah. yeah. I appreciate when, it. When it I, I, in the meantime, I think you, there must be some RSAs or something that say who's responsible for it. Well, that's why Calvitz. we checked it with the municipal. No, yeah, call this to, to, to waterways. Waterways. Who's responsible for the waterways? Depends on where they are. Huh? Sort of depends on where they are. Well, if it runs into the town... There's no, no one in town, no citizen can do anything to those waterways. If it's on, if it's part of the public way, I mean, you could have some stream or brook that is only like, a, again, if you... Oh, yeah. Right. yeah I, so I, I, so I there is something, there that. are issues. I understand that. So we just I can understand your, your feeling that it is going to cost some money to repair that. There's no doubt about it. But it's, it needs, it needs repair, you know. But I'll get together with him. Yeah, just and we'll, we'll have another set of eyes look at yep. that. And take a look at yeah. But a lot of that, you, know, you say a lot of that sand that's down there in the river came from... Uh, Stockdale. Yeah, well, it came, a lot of it came down when the road washed out just just above where you put the new piece of road to cover that. On Pine? That was, how many years ago was that? When Bec was that Becaris? Becaris was the last one that went out there. Yeah, yeah. that whole, whole thing washed out. The water <laughs> sand come there, but... I think a lot of the sand is also coming from that place I was telling you across the street from the Legion, where the ground is Probably gone down. Broken pipe or something in there. Yeah. Well, you know that was the issue with the lower mill. I mean, we had pipes that were that yep. were broken, and so yep. we well, they've been in there about since the, the foundry put them in. So, and I don't recall ever being any uh, yeah. anything done. And there's some storm drains that run into that too. You know, right on. Prospect Street, there's one on either side of the street that runs into that drain. Top of the hill? Hmm? At the top of the hill? No, right? Right across, I mean, just for the Legion, just, just a little bit from the Legion, there's one on one side, one on the other side, and that drains in, that goes into the, uh, I believe that goes right into that culvert that I'm talking about. I say culvert because I, I think it's a big cement it has to be pretty. You know, you know where it comes out. You've seen that down in across at the, the river. You know where it comes out into the river. Yeah, where there's a peninsula down. Yeah, well, I mean that legs. must be a 30, yeah. 30 inch yeah. culvert there. So yeah, that's one of our outfalls. Of I've seen that. I've seen that land grow in the last 10, 15 years. The, uh, into a the lot, river. Yes, a lot. into the river. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we do, and we have seen that. And a lot of it's coming from right behind the Legion, because there's some yeah. one well, big hole. Well, that's interesting, maybe. because we really thought that a lot of it was coming from Stockdale, but maybe it's both. I think it's probably a combination of both, yeah. Well, we put those barriers in. In yeah, Stockdale, yeah. Up further up. Check dams, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what they were called, yeah, check dams. Yeah. All right, so... I will get together right, soon. Perfect. Probably and we do. We are putting Keno. Like so you can yeah, see the good to look at it. Just you see it bubbling up, though. Let me know. So well, the water's running almost constantly okay. ever since that warm spell. And, and just to kind of close the loop on Keno, we the board will be putting that as a warrant article on our town warrant. It okay. will be there on the ballot on Tuesday. It needs to be looked at, anyways, but.
And the thanks the thanks is, for listening to me. The Legion wants to, to, to host Kino, right? Is that What's that? The Legion wants to host Kino, right, at, at the facility, at, in the canteen? We're talking about Kino now. I've come back to Kino. Oh, yes. So, yeah, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Yes, we, we were we yes. thinking about <laughs> so getting, that will be getting it if, if it's approved by yeah. the town. Yes. It will be on the ballot. Yeah, very good. Okay. And Thank so you. I guess I can go. Ken, Ken Shorey. Mm -hmm. And Ken, could I have your, do you have an email? What's that? Do you have an email yes. address? Just sort of to. It's uh, G, G is in joke, G-R-N-D-A-T, K-E-N. K-E-N? Yeah. At Comcast. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I guess I can go. Oh, I'll, I'll be. That's what they're stuck. Okay. Any other well, community input? You must have the table. Okay. All right. Um. Department head business. I see <clears throat> a road agent and a chief of police. What do you mean? What do you see? <laughs> I don't have anything other than the, uh, the purchase wait, order. Go. All right, so let's drag that out because we did oh, yeah, chat yeah. with you. So we wanted to actually have a conversation just yeah. because of the Absolutely. cost of this. So if you could explain to us uh, know, what what this is all about. The what department mean. had given us two radio that. I know I've observed any more. Yeah. However, when they installed the new ones, the wiring harnesses stayed behind. So they, we had to replace the wiring harnesses to get them to work. Okay. And we need an antenna for each piece of equipment we like to put them on. Mm -hmm. My thought is, is to take the smaller radios out of two of the trucks and put them in the machines, the sidewalk, the skid steer, and the backhoe, so we have radio communication going we're out working, and put the more powerful radios in the truck so we can talk further. Etc. Uh, unfortunately, it's an $838 to get mm -hmm. the cables and everything. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we weren't clear on that part. What's the most expensive part of that, George? It's the harness, the, the wiring harness, because it's specific to the radio, of course. So it's Motorola, so. I see. Yeah. And, uh, and they told, I mean, they actually gave me a price of 1500 thinking they were going to install them. And I said, no, no, we can get, we'll get them in. <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. he said that's material wise, it's going to be about $838. So. We don't have them in the machines. I mean, I think it's a good, it's a, it would be a worthwhile investment to have that. I mean, I mean radio communications right. with all our equipment, especially if we're all. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're So, would a board member like to, to move the purchase sure. order again? We just have, we just weren't sure about some of the details. Yeah. Yeah. I'll move purchase order number 0990 to two way communications for um, wiring uh, antennas and. Line and harness, sorry, and antennas for radio for the backhoe and the skid steer for eight hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Any discussion? When, when do you think they'll be able to get uh, um, the materials to you, George? Uh, if he has it in stock, I'll have it within a few days. We'll okay. try to get the radio okay. as soon as possible. I mean, when he gave us the radio to put in the shop, we had it in within hours of getting it. So, we'll we'll yeah, I'll call the question. All those in favor, say aye. 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 As I sent in an email about the uh, transfer station being damaged with the snow removal. That Do you mind us about I don't that, please? The <laughs> okay. uh, two songs back, the, the new transfer station. The way the wiring was installed was about six oh, inches off the, the ground, uh, the and it was hit by the skid steel yeah, and it was yeah. snow. Right. Yeah. The wiring's been repaired, however, I haven't got the bill from uh, the gentleman yet. He's going to give us a 1099 and stuff. That's why I haven't got a PO for you, so you know okay. exactly what the cost is. I just want to give you a heads up on that. Okay. This, that compact is back in service. Okay. We are going to put barriers on each side of that yeah. to protect it now, because I wasn't aware it was that close to the ground and not yeah. protected. It, I don't think any of us were on it. Actually, it's all, yeah, when it's it was installed, the, apparently the pad was put in first, so they had to run a wire across the ground instead right. of up where it should have come up. But. Mm. That's not what we thought was going to happen. But. But, but. But a solution, so thank you. Right. And we may have 
an issue with the heater that was put in there. There was a acted up. They're claiming it's our fault. The control had to be replaced because they claimed that it was overturned. From uh, there was no stop on it. The new one had the stop on it. So right. I'm thinking it was a manufacturer's defect. And right. I don't know if Caroline sent me something about work on a on a heater. I haven't had a chance to talk to it yet. So they may fight repairing that. But to be honest with you, I think it should be repaired under a warranty because it's only been in a couple months. Right. So I mm -hmm. want to give you a heads up on that. that. Mm. Other than that, uh, everything's going good. If anybody has any complaints or questions or things that I haven't heard. heard. No, things are going well. We have uh, shoveling sanding on town hall. Oh, shoveling sanding. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, I know there's two things here that we have. I, I haven't. I'm not aware of anything. Right. So, so we don't know exactly whose job it is to to shovel the stairs at town hall. Okay. So, but sometimes there's nobody here who can do it, and we want to open it up. Are, if you're available, would, could you? Could oh, if I know, you know, if I know we're going to take it, no problem. We'll have it open. Thank you. I mean, you I'm know, just, I just—it's mean, it's just one of these little odds and ends. Yeah. I think Richard, if if, if it's a day where there, where Richard's here, he'll he do it. But he's he's more. not here every day. Okay, no, that's kind of like. We'll so if you want to chat with him and organize we'll, it or we'll coordinate sure it with him. Open. If we see it's not open, we'll open it up. And Sanding and salting is probably the biggest thing. That's the, yeah, and and I'm a, <coughs> I'm a real proponent of sand. Well, we have uh, maybe hold it. We're gonna put. A, 55 gallon, well, not a 55 gallon, no, but a classic drum out there with sand and salt mix in it, so we can use that when the icing situation is good. Thank you. Because you know, the re I'm not. It's not for roads. It's just for when people are walking, mm -hmm. that the sand yeah. provides attraction that the yeah. salt just right. doesn't mm -hmm. do. And for some of these, you know, we've got you know people come, and it's not the best walking anyway. Right. Or well lit. Or well lit. Yeah. If it's a Thursday night, good point. So. so. So yeah, that would we'll, be helpful uh, if you keep an eye on it. All right. And uh, like I said, is there anything else? And you sent me that email about Second Street. I we've got it covered. Okay, I would not show what the situation. We've got it covered. I, I think we. I think between the chief and I, we might have figured it out. So how we left it, though. I think it might be on your end, not you personally, George. <laughs> okay. One of your one of your crew not calling in. Um, they should call. They should have called. They should call. So, they see a car that's in the way. I just haven't had a chance to see this. So. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, it was an issue I didn't know about. So I. Yep. No, I appreciate it. Fine. Fun. I have nothing else. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, Enjoy your evening. Do we need George here for the transfer station sticker business? Or? No. No. I don't think okay. so. Right. I'm going to stick around a few minutes. Yeah. 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 So. It's, I think it's also down below. I don't know why it's in two places. Oh. Anyway, so. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Historically, we've been shoveling the town hall. Oh. When we, because we snowballed the sidewalk at the same time. But I see. If we're busy with accidents, then this obviously this takes. Well, I suppose you can coordinate with, with George then, or <laughs> Ann, or Richard, or something, but. Uh, that, that would be helpful, just to so that somebody has is thinking about. I don't know. Richard might do it Thursdays when he's here. But other than that, you know, That's he might be doing doing that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. So, well, let's start with the easy stuff. I guess. Help purchase orders. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to spend money. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, we need to uh, stock up on on our ammo. Uh, for the year, and sometimes when you order the ammo from these places, it actually takes six, seven, eight months, and sometimes a year to, to get the ammo. So now is the time to, to place to, the order. To get it? To get it, yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. So I have a purchase order here made out to AAA Police Supply out of Denham, Mass. Uh, excuse me, Denham, Mass. Uh, purchase order 1356 for two cases of 12 gauge slug shotguns. One case of 40 S and W gold dot hollow point, which is our duty ammo. You know. Two cases of 40 S and W clean fire, which is our practice ammo. One case of .223 high shot SP, which is the duty ammo for a rifle, and five cases of uh, practice for the rifle. For a grand total, two thousand two hundred fifty-two dollars. This one gets just terrible. 
Yes, yes. That's all we need to say. We don't need to repeat it all. Move to accept purchase order 1356 to AAA Police Supply for multiple cases of ammo for um, the police department for $2,252. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, purchase order number 1357 made out the two way communications, uh, radio repair, uh, one of the vehicles, um, uh, the wiring for the e ticket system somehow came loose, or whatever the case might be. Um, and uh, while the, the cruisers were down, one cruiser was down there, uh, we had the radio reprogram so that we now have the SWAT channel, the new Durham channel. The new Durham channels in there as well as the UNH channels. So I anticipate it's going to be uh, somewhere around $200, no more than um, $250 to take care of all that. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit of a Move uh, purchase order number 1357 to two way communications uh, for repairs, uh, radio reprogramming, and repairs the e ticket system for up to $250. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Before we get to my last item, uh, the old highway department, anything, anything for me? No, nope, just annual reports. Remind about annual reports. Yes, they're that's all in. They've all been submitted. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. okay. Uh, last week, an uh, effort to finalize the plans for the demo for the Silver Street property, um, I contacted the folks at Strapid Planning to see about if we needed to keep those um, holes that they, they dug on the oh, property. The brown fields, the brown, for, the brown right, fields project. The brown yeah. project. Because um, I didn't want to disturb those if they were coming to and doing something later on. And they said, nope, tear them up. I said, terrific, we're getting ready to tear it down. They said, well, hang on. You know, you have asbestos in that building. No. So, um, uh, between the folks at the. So that uh, was in their brown fields report? It was in the, in the report. Apparently, they, they said they submitted two, uh, um, two reports to the town, uh, phase one and a phase two. I remember phase one. Oh, yeah, that's what I said to the chief. I don't remember yeah. phase two yeah. at all. So. And the phase two was the one that, that talks about the asbestos uh, in the building, as well as there's a 55 gallon drum there that had, has something in it. No one seems to know what, what's in that drum on the inside of the building. Okay. Um, but it's actually many years ago, I think, when they put the. Uh, the addition on to that building where they would house the, the salt and the sand, uh, they used like a black tar pitch type of sealant to marry the side of the building with the, mm -hmm. with the roof that they built on the building. Mm -hmm. And that's where the asbestos is. That's actually in that long, uh, mm. it's, probably, it's probably really about 60 or 70 feet long strip um, uh, on the edge of the building. And of course, on some of the, the roof that's collapsed into the pit there, some of the tires on that as well. And uh, so, yeah, well, well, come on, I mean, how much can it really cost? Just yeah. take out that little tiny piece, get yeah. cut off a, a foot of that piece of wood, and, you know, properly dispose of it. Were you stunned? I, I was shocked, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, um, and speaking with Kate today, uh, she has said that she knows someone who also does this. But what I did today is I um, went to the state website, and I got all the, uh, the folks that are registered in the state of New Hampshire that can abate asbestos. And uh, there is actually one in Berwick as well. So I might suggest that we contact a couple of other people to see, you know, are these folks really high or is that really the going rate? Because, you know, they have to do certain things with it and, and uh, make certain notifications that will dispose it properly in whatever the case might be. Mm -hmm. Before we go out and say, you know, because now we're doubling the cost of the demo project. Yeah. Exactly. So we yes. right. So it probably wasn't going to happen. Now, 
So, that, I mean, that's a great next step. So let's do some more research. Yeah. I will let our auditor know, because he was in today asking about that, and so I said, well, I don't know what's going to happen, but we've got something that practically doubles it. So, I'm not sure what the board will think about it, but we may end up wanting to avoid this. Right. So, I guess I will tell him we're, we're still unsure, and that um, we're going to do a little more research to see if we can, but, I mean, anything that, I mean, even half that, I don't know. Where, you know, where would we get half that out of? Is the bottom line, and and you know maybe at this point, there's an argument to be made for well we'll just roll it into, you know the costs of the project later on yeah. of the project, yeah. rather than uh, hindering or harming our budget so quickly because there I mean there's another budgetary issue that's coming up later on in the meeting so. It's never, uh, never easy. Yeah, and it's only January. Yeah, right. you know. But if we don't get digital prices, then we don't know. Right. You know? Uh, so. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the reason I contact these folks is well, these folks are going to have to work with MIG Construction. They're going to do it at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, MIG said that they worked with these folks on some of their other projects in the past. Right here, so the Enviro Vantage. Yeah, yeah, so. I actually heard great things about them. So. Yeah, so. Yeah, but it's good to good to find out because you have to be certified, right? You have to be a certified. You do, yeah. Right. So. You can only dispose of it in certain ways. Yeah. So, I mean, so right. yeah. Yeah. it may just be one price. So as long as it's a certified contractor, yeah. then yeah. let's just see if there's another price out there. Good, well, good thing we found out that probably this price of the viral advantage is quoted mm. probably cheaper than the fine. So I think we didn't know about so or Mick too. Like well, that. and I I'm gonna check in with SRPC about the phase two because I honestly don't remember don't seeing a phase two report. Now maybe it happened on a night when we were totally wrapped up with other things. What I'll do is when I get when I get downstairs, I will uh, forward you the report, the entire report. That they forwarded to me last week. Yeah, you have, 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 have an electronic copy. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's. I know they didn't come to talk to us about it because they only came after phase yeah. one. They came in, yeah, they did a presentation yeah. on phase and one. And then they had the test pitch they were they were gonna come yeah. back and right. give us a report on it. Yeah. When we did you read the report? Have a report right? I, don't think. I didn't read the whole thing. But he okay. just said go to this page here and you'll see your problems as that. Did you say that to you ever spoke with? Uh that's all right, I was just curious. I have written down downstairs. No worries. Yeah, that was yeah. All right. Yeah, so and you were worried about the oil in the I know. Nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, you never know what you're going to find, but it's good to know, actually. Right. You know, better, better be to safe know. than sorry, and then later on they say, hey, you, you, you yeah. took care of that uh, properly, now you have to go dig it up, and there's a big fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we ran into that at the lower mill. We, were, yeah. we knew that there was a buried oil tank, and we were concerned that it might have whatever had been in there might could have infiltrated the trench that we were building. It, it did slightly, and it was, you know, it was tested by an independent lab, and it was well within the tolerances. But, you know, these things are so expensive. If they yeah. do, you know, had we had there been real infiltration, we would have to do special disposal. Oh, my God. It's always something. And it's always expensive. Yeah, it's always expensive. Right. Yeah, it's it's always, always specialized like that. It's always very expensive. Yeah. expensive. Yeah. All right. That's all that I have. I think we're good. Hopefully we'll I have some better news for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I only have something from Xfinity for a municipal emergency reporting procedure reminder. Oh, so. I think we have. Yeah, I think they, they send us to, to this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, but there's, there's, there's something. Yeah, I just wanted to hold it. There you go. I'll take a quick look at it. I think it's something we get. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 So, oh, are you, you know, the operation, yeah. the emergency operations report, I actually looked at it and made a whole bunch of edits. Did you, did I send them to you? Well, you know, the emergency operations? Well, the one that, the committee that the, you're... Um, you talk about the uh, continuity? Yes, that's it. Yes, sorry. Well, the only thing that we changed is we, I don't recall getting any edits, but... Um, I'll have to resend them. Yeah. Because there were a bunch of, of succession things that could be updated, not just not the board, board yeah. but, you know, the town clerk, we now have a deputy town clerk, you know, it mentioned a uh, sergeant, and now there's right, a, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so we, that we was took yours. care of some of those, yeah. I know Joey, Joey some mentioned others. the big thing was, uh, you know, uh, chair, vice chair, and right. junior, but we had it listed as, uh, you know, 
Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> uh, let me, let me yeah. And they're just yeah. sort of, com oh, and also I, I did change order select and deselect. Yeah. yeah, we went through the entire plan and then changed all that okay. to that. And um, continuity of operations, is that? Correct. And I think we're, we're listing, uh, we still have it listed as the fun town, fun, is it financial on this one? It was something that didn't. Beverly, so we need to update. If, if you want to be Caroline, we need to know what exactly what her, well, what it should be. And I think we said administrative you, assistant. Is that what we would use for okay. The question is, what are you looking? I wasn't sure about that. I didn't know whether you wanted the treasurer, and we need to call this person the treasurer. Or what, what are you looking? What operation are you looking to make sure it comes up soon? Is it, is it the administrative? Well, it's actually it's, it's the administrative. Portion, which would include the and finance, but, bills, but it's really more—it's really more administrative than it is. All right, so it is more looking for check, Caroline's yes. position, and not right. not the treasurer's right. position. Right. Yes. Okay, I would, would say be. administrative assistant. Yeah, I think I think we talked about is that what you settled on? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I saw. I think yeah. I might when you see my edits, I might have put treasurer because I again I wasn't sure, sure. Yeah. what you were driving at. So, but all right, it's if it's that position, which I makes sense to me. Currently, it's called administrative assistant. Sounds like we're all on the same page for the most part. Yeah. I think so. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll so just, now, just now that you check. see that, yeah. it, most of them are like that, you know. Yeah. And again, town uh, deputy town clerk. Yeah. And while we have you there, uh, you're, you're talking about Keno already, right? Yeah. We we changed yeah, an email. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not going to affect the town at all. <clears> like the, I was just kind of hoping that the town could regulate it a little, little bit friendly, but. Uh, because I haven't read the RSA on it, so yeah. But Suzanne said that we couldn't. Yeah, there is all through no. the paramutual or whatever, the lottery commission or whatever. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. and there were, there were only three sites that are. Um, thank you. Well, thank you so much. That are eligible. It's so nice when somebody can fill in the blank. And the three sites are Dover Bowl and Mark Bowen has been here in support of this. The Legion and the Legion has sent representatives. Ken Sherry was here earlier, and they're in support of it. And Alexander's, who probably is, is not a. And a liquor license. Yeah, they probably yeah. don't even know or don't care. I don't know. But sure. They've not yeah, they expressed any interest that they may. They may. Yeah. So they would be, the, those are the only three sites. I asked about the cider place, but I guess they, it's not a full liquor license, yeah, and so it's, it's, so they it's would not, one, yeah. 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 So they wouldn't be eligible. Yeah. So three sites. All right, very good. All right. Well, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, town administration. So uh, I sent you a draft of a memo that I'd like us to send out to public official employees, volunteers, blah, 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 as a reminder of three different items. One is a reminder to read the conflict of interest, and if they haven't picked up the conflict of interest, to come and pick one up and sign that they have one. But they should look at it every year. We should send out the reminder every year. One is our, the second one is the drug, that we have a drug-free workplace, and just a reminder of that. Mm -hmm. And the third one, we don't, it's not a reference to a policy because we don't have one, but our auditor said, you know, it's a good idea to remind your employees to act ethically and responsibly with town assets, and if they see someone who is not, to find someone to report this to. Right. So that's what the third paragraph says, is, to, is that. So, shall we send it out? Are you okay with that? Yeah, looks great. All right, good. We will do that. So, I just want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. So, are we requiring them to sign the new um, conflict of interest form every year? No. Or it's just one story. They do, they acknowledge receipt at first, and then we just send out a reminder. Because I think the policy says it's up to you to let us know. You have a conflict. Yeah. So they don't have to sign everything. There, there were some policies I looked at of other municipalities or nonprofits or whatever. Oh, sorry, just signed and it was a very, receipt. very um, kind of a labor-intensive process. Yeah. So I found one that was more streamlined. And so I think as long as we remind them, you know, take a look at it. Remember, there's such a thing as a conflict of interest. Yeah. And keep it in mind. And yeah. Let us know. Make sure we remember to send it out to uh, to, to new like, uh, 
it won't be a new planning board member this year because there's no one up this year. But if there was, or it would be new ZBA people up. Well, we, so we could do a two prong. We could, we could do this now, and then we could send it to any new members right. in April. So, right. I mean, I guess having written it and it being the just sort of a good bookkeeping kind of year to do it. Well, that's fine. I just don't want us to lose sight that we need to remember to send it to the new, the new people that get appointed to things. Yeah. So. yeah, good point. Or elected to. I just was wondering, is it easier just to send a reminder everyone has to resign it every year versus trying to keep track of you know, who's coming, who's gone? That's all. Because I think what's, what's easier for us? That's all. My work requires it every year. I, I, we do too. I mean, do you sign but, something every year? Yeah, acknowledging that we received the, the policy. Actually, we just did your webinar. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the policy doesn't read that way, so. so okay, I, just, I, yeah. I only brought it up because I wanted yeah. to be more streamlined. I mean, if you'd, like, if you'd like to take stuff. a look at it and recommend a language change, that, you know, but I, I, I think that the, we're good by sen with sending out a notice like this. Okay. I mean, I think that's what the policy is asking us to do. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I think we've talked about the old highway shed demolition. Uh, now we get to some even better news, and that is uh, New Hampshire retirement system and group one employees and FICA taxes. So, uh, one of the one thing that Tom, our auditor, Tom Dumay, noticed is that you know we've got two classes of retirement. For most of the time, we only had the class, you know, whatever the class, class is. Two. And then, about two years ago, we put our road agent on because he was full time and it didn't seem, it seemed like the appropriate thing to do, the fair thing to do. So we did. We put him in, he, he's, a class, he, he's a class one employee. Then last year, Caroline became also, you know, at 32 hours, became full time, so we put her on that. And now Ed, now we've got a third, we have a third full-time in, in group one. And so when Tom was doing his random checks of payroll, he noted that we were not withholding properly. So for class two employees, there is no FICA withholding. But for class one employees, there, there is FICA withholding. Yes. Uh, well, they, they don't, there's as big a contribution to the retirement system. I don't know if that's, if that's really? related. Pardon? Really? Yeah. I, well, we pay almost 30% of class two. We, well, I understand us. We, we don't. Well, but, it's the, well, the state. I mean, all the teachers are in group one. Yeah, so they have, so, they pay social security. Right, that's a lot of people. Wow. Okay. So, so that was, you know, discouraging information to find out. Mm -hmm. So. For you know, 2017, um, mm -hmm. Tom is going to help us with you know reporting the change to the IRS. It shouldn't have any any. Um, he talked us through this. It shouldn't have any uh, any impact on your actual income reporting to IRS mm -hmm. because it's a Social Security. Yeah. Uh, and has nothing to do with the income generation of your 1040 and that sort of yeah. thing. But we will be sending Social Security a corrected W-2 so that the earnings, your 2017 earnings as well as Ed's, as well as Caroline's, are appropriately reported with Social Security. The 2017 uh, employer and employee share will come out of fund balance. And as far as 2018, um, I would like to recommend that the board, we've already, that we cover both pieces of this for the two paychecks that have already run. And that starting with the next paycheck, we would take it out of the employees, the, the 6% that we have them to take it out. Okay. My question is twofold. One, ADP didn't catch us to begin with. Or paychecks. Oh, paychecks. And two, Tom did our audit last year and he didn't catch it on our road agent the year before. Correct? Correct. Okay. Just make sure Correct. I'm up to speed. Well, they're random. I mean, they're random checks, right? You don't check every piece of data every year. Okay. So they're randomized tests that he developed that he develops that, you know, are pretty far ranging and you know will will, you know, looks at a lot of things, but it's true. It would have been nice if it if we'd have known it last year. Right. I, I don't dispute that. Okay. 
But you know, he other than the you know the fact that we all wish that it had happened differently. You know, Tom is saying it's just a mistake. You know, it's, it's no it's no one's fault. It just happened. And we'll correct it. We'll help you correct it. And blah blah blah. I've, I had a meeting with George and Ed this morning to let them know so they are aware of that. And you know, it's while it, it's going to have an impact on take home. I mean, it's it's a benefit that's going. To, it's just, you know, instead of cash in your paycheck, you know, it's your Social and Security, your, yeah, yeah. Your future, future Social Security payment, so. So that's, pardon? Nothing. So, it's just to let you know that that, that has happened. Um, with our first quarterly reports, I may, what I'll probably do is a revised Did budget. Did you say anything to us here? No. It's just so strange. I don't want to hear that word, so I'm as perplexed as you Yeah, there you go. It, you know. Um, any other questions, comments? Right. We can always come back. I mean, it's a, uh, if you want to chat about it some more. Uh, all right, so. I'm sure there was a point in time when I knew about this, but I completely forgot about it. Apparently, we, we the town, through its former recreation committee, have a service credit union bank account. The one who turned over was the citizens. Right, there was also a service credit union account. Yeah. Beverly knew about it, uh, and she did provide Tom with statements last year. But it doesn't, I said to Tom, well, it's not showing up on the treasurer's report. You know, we don't see, that's why, you know, out of sight, out of mind, we're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's unclear. It, it's it, it's in. Is this like way back when when Larry was running it? Uh, well, the two names on the account are Brian Mossberg and Kayla Reno. So they just opened it up, what, two years ago? Because Kayla have, was the. It would have been the first, the first year, the, so. Yeah. So 2017 was the new regime, 2016 was Kayla Reno, 2015 was Brent and Kayla. Right. So it was 2015, right? right. Did I do the math right? Right. So they opened up two checking accounts. Uh, yeah. well, so I'm not saying service. I didn't know what you wanted. Yeah, one with service and one with citizens. And there was 5,000 in citizens. And what how mean? much is in this one? Well, that's what Tom wants to know for the audit. I think it's one or one, maybe. And I'm looking at so why why aren't we closing this? And a thousand? I'm sorry, I was trying to follow two thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So why aren't we closing this? Well, we should be. Well, we should. So well, do we first get to well, close it and put it aside? Right? Again, aren't supposed to have accounts at credit unions, but pardon? We're not allowed to have accounts at credit unions in general, but because of the way they're 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 bonded, they're chartered. They're chartered is what it is. Well. Look, it, it, it was small, reason. I would love to, but we're not it was small potatoes, and um, what what I think there is is if Caroline was able to get to it, is there's a request maybe to close that out at, I even by a, a, a funding disbursement, or that could be, or I may be confusing with a few different accounts. But in any event, if this board is amenable, I will ask. I will officially ask Beverly to close this account and move the proceeds into the general fund. And I'm afraid it just goes into the general fund, but nice try. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. We could put it on the revenue. We could we could put it as revenue on, so it, it would help with your revenue figures. That would be great. Yeah, it right. should. I mean, I would. Right? So we can do that. Yeah, it okay. should stay It just doesn't right. increase your expense budget. That's right. Fine. Yeah. No, but it should stay with right. Yeah, so we, we'd be, that that seems like a good thing to do. So that would, that would, just, we'll, we'll uh, where the, I just want to know what $1,000 came from. Um, what is it? Well, is it an well, appropriation? Is it, is it was an appropriation from the town? Or was it money that was taken in, you know, like, I don't know, selling stuff? It could have been taken in. It yeah. could have been hmm. money. It's lost in the midst of time. I mean, yeah. You know, we know it's not a good thing. You know, I've talked to Tom. You know, he's very much in line that, you know, this is not something we should do. Right. And I've said the town, we, the town doesn't want to do this either, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't, I didn't even know that this thing was there. No. So, okay. um, so there you go.
So if there is, so let me come back to this. If there is news nothing, do you have for us tonight? Well, this is this is in revenue. This is this is in revenue. So it, so could I have a motion from the board to direct our treasurer to close out the service credit union bank account? So and, okay, second. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I was so direct. We may have to do something. It may be that because she's not one of the signatories, that we might have to do something extraordinary. What that is, I don't know. Kayla's still around. I think Caroline has tried in the past, so we'd, you know, we'd have to see what we can do. Okay. So Kino, <laughs> so I did hear from the state, they said, well, by the way, you know, you have to hold a public hearing. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so we need to hold a public hearing uh, 15 to 30 days before March 13th. Mm -hmm. And of course, it needs to be posted seven days. So uh, so I, I don't think I did all of the math, but it looks like maybe the, the weekend after the public hearing on the budget might work works with your calendars. No, it doesn't have to be on a Saturday. Do it for a meeting, or do you have to have? If we don't think it's going to attract very many people, we can do it before a meeting. 15, 30 days before the 13th. Yes, with enough, with at least seven seven days. So we do the 9th. Are we meeting President's Day? No. Right? It's a holiday, isn't it? It's a town holiday. It's a ta uh, where's our town calendar? I think I'm second. Let's see. Days to remember where to go. Days to remember. No holidays are listed as days to remember, apparently. I'm quite sure it's a town holiday now that I think of it, because I was trying to schedule a vacation. Well, we got Columbus Day. Why wouldn't we get President's Day? I, I was trying to schedule a vacation around it, and I miscalculated when, when it was hmm. <coughs> last year. The 12th is too soon. Yes. So 26, because that gives us one, two, four, so 26. The 15, it's 15 days, uh, the 26 would be 15 days before the year. But do we count weekends? Yeah, we do, we can. So it's between 15 and 30, right? So that would still be okay? Yeah. So the 12th, we still have seven days to notice it? Yeah, I would say do the 12th and for uh, if there's for some reason we have a blizzard or something, we're not, we don't have a meeting. Okay. Do it so the 12th, do yeah. it the... Uh, right. So Kino, 6 o'clock. Monday, could tell me the date again? February 12th. Thank you. Six o'clock. Lincoln's birthday. Okay, very good. All right, I will uh, take care of that. Excuse me. And this is the next item is just a reminder, February 5th, at 7 o'clock, it's the rescheduled New Hampshire Department of Transportation mm -hmm. uh, discussion on Portland Avenue. George, if you would like to be here to listen to that. Herb, Herb sent, I'm, I'm saying us. I, I, I saw that. Did I, I forward it? I don't think so. I don't know ever what you're talking about. I, can, I imagine I know. I can figure out what matrix is, but I haven't seen it. Maybe I sent it to me, and I just responded to him. So let me. Sorry about that. Let me forward.
forward it to you. My calendar. Yeah. And the fifth is when, but they're coming in like, during a meeting, right? They're not coming in before. They're coming in right. at seven. It's on, seven. A, it's on right. a public hearing. Right. But, but if, uh, so I, I would ask the board to take a look at this matrix and if her would like to speak to it, are you, uh, is the board amenable to having uh, her speak to the matrix? So it's a presentation from the Department of, of Transportation, right? No, it's a discussion. They're not presenting anything, I don't think, Michael. What, what do you well, think? I'm trying to figure out, so I'm asking. So. Yeah, they're coming. We've asked them to come to talk about safety on Portland Avenue. Right. It, so it, I don't know. There's no presentation that I'm aware okay. of. So if it's not a public hearing. It's not a public hearing. And we're not going to allow folks to have our people. We're not, it's a discussion between the Department of Transportation and the board, right? It is. I think in our PR we said we might, we might, it, whatever I said. I don't remember. Uh, it was point subtle. Is we're it not going to take questions and comments from the public. Having a member it, of the public doing a presentation probably isn't the best thing in the world. If you're not going to let other people in town mm -hmm. speak. So, what I, it, it, you should take a look at what I said. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it should be on the website. Um, I mean, I, I, I think it's an important conversation. So, if there are people that come specifically that have issues with with um, that structure of uh, Route Four, they should be heard. I mean. Well, so what I, I said something about look. This is our regular meeting. Yeah. This is a you know this is could be of interest to members of the public. So you're mm -hmm. as as all meetings you're invited to to right. attend. You know. The board may allow for some public questions or comments, but yeah. but we are going to be conducting our meeting, so it won't be a full. It's not a public hearing, so I I waffled something to that effect. I'm trying to pull it up, I'm sorry. I just sent the just, my announcement. Yeah. Just to see what it says. Yeah, people. Would you need to go to the original? Right, 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 right. I got you. I'm getting there. No sugar, flannel boards, holiday lights. What is it? Hmm. It's going to have everything but that notice. Cross that. So I just did a search. So I found it. Okay. So here's what I said. Oh, I we hope to start this part of the meeting close to seven. As always, the public can attend all meetings with a select board, but please note that this is not a public hearing. We may choose to open up the meeting for a very brief time for some public comments, but we will always also be cognizant of the need to return to the rest of our business agenda. Okay. Uh, provided ample wiggle room. I used to be a historian. <laughs> That's what I call a historian's waffle. No, I just want to make sure that if there are other people that want to, you know, want to comment. After one resident, then they should be allowed to. So we've been pretty, yes. pretty good about that. So, so, so yeah, it, yeah, so I mean, so it's, I'm glad we're talking about this now, so we're not yeah. surprised, but right. it may may present, you know, but we'd have to be mindful of the right. time. And I haven't looked at her uh, well, matrix, uh, but is there, we let him know that he only has, you know, very brief amount well, of he, time. Well, I don't know that he actually asked to, to present, but um, let me see what he said. Yeah, he did. Did he? Are you, I'm bringing it up myself. I would like to share with Mr. Lambert if time permits and the selectman deem appropriate. Okay, so he did ask. It could just be that he wanted to hand it out. But he's, you know, he's knowledgeable, he's articulate. He was the one who led, sort of led the charge the first time around. Right. Did he create this? Where yes. did he get these numbers? I believe he created it. So this is just his ideas? Yes. Okay. He will explain. Okay. Because he put impact, high impact, stoplight, and avoid route four. So <laughs> I'm like, I can't think of any agency that would say, avoid route four. Yeah, I, I think it's his attempt to look at possible solutions and whether they're high impact, low impact, easy to implement. I didn't assimilate it totally. We know that some of the possible ameliorative 
actions are expensive, and they're not going to be borne by the town. They're going to be borne by the state if there are things like traffic lights and uh, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it has to, you know, my my uh, complaint. It's not really a complaint, but my plea to the state, or to, you know, it's what we we do at the Stratford Regional, is that it's really difficult for this small town mm -hmm. to get some of its some of the road issues that it thinks are priorities right. to compete with the likes of Durham and yeah, we don't have Dover. Full -time we just, yeah, yeah, and all of the resources, right. right? They can do cost-benefit analyses and safety assessments and, and all those sorts of things. So, but it doesn't it doesn't lessen the fact that that you know we need some of these issues looked at and we need a mechanism that could allow us to do that. All right. So, so you are, 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 is the board okay with her letting her speak for a few minutes on, on this nature? And I would just, you know, let her know that you only have like three minutes or, you know, five at the most. That this isn't a half hour conversation, right. this is a brief presentation and let the department respond to it. Right. <coughs> Fair enough. <coughs> Excuse me. That's next week, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Okay. Moving right along. Moving right along, yeah. All right. Uh, the next item is just, you know, it's the, the time of year we're writing reports. I will probably draft something for the select board for you to look at. I don't have anything yet. I did do the long-term planning uh, uh, project report. Yes. Uh, so... And I just got financials from Caroline, so we'll be working on those. Mm -hmm. um, Oak Street Boundary, nothing to say about that. Rec new hires. All right. Jody. Yes. Um, so we'd like to um, hire uh, Janessa Pellerin, who was um, there last year as the assistant director at $14 an hour. And Alex Langle, um, who was a <coughs> counselor last year at $10 an hour. And what is that second position? Uh, he's just a counselor. Oh, okay. So I think what once, I, I think when we arrived at last year, so once we've got a director mm -hmm. hired, mm -hmm. that that director can, the direct, that the board cares at the level of director and assistant director. Yes. And the rest can just sort of be hired by the by the director. However, because you have a name today and we're here, let's do it. Right, but you said last week whenever we hire the counselors, you wanted to know that too. I may have misstated. Okay. So now uh, that I got my director and my assistant director, they can hire at yeah, will and yes, that's, you don't need to know. Well, yeah, yes, you know we I mean. don't need to appoint. Okay. We don't need to actually do the hiring. I believe that they can hire. I think that's what we said. They have to go through because background checks. We and are the hiring agency. We are their boss. We the select board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, how many counselors are there? It could be, depending on the number, last year we had 10. I mean, they have to go through background checks. Yeah. You know, if the rec committee is overseeing, if the director and the rec committee are overseeing this. Right, but they're I, not going to start overseeing it until closer to the term because we pay them hourly. The, so the, the director, director and the oh, camp. So, so maybe it is better than the right. committee yeah. is sending okay. is five All right. people. All right. That and makes sense. Now they're going to be in the loop. Okay. And they have their say. All right. But I don't want them going out hiring and paying them hourly to search for people. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. Good. Thank you. As long as we're all on the same page. We're on the same page for now. Right. Until oh, wow. till we forget. Yeah. And go through it all over again. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so given that, go, why don't you go ahead with your motions. Okay. Move to um, high, rehire uh, Jessa, Jessa, Janessa Pellerin for assistant director at $14 an hour and Alex Langle, L-A-G-L-E, at $10 an hour for camp counselor. Second. I will just ask, and these are roughly the, the prices that we were paying or they're in line or we think they've already accepted those hourly rates? Um, Janessa has not received a letter yet. Because, okay. but do um, you? Th we think those hourly rates are 
Yes, will they're, be they're, they're um, competitive enough. They're competitive enough, right. yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. I don't have any other questions, Mike. All right, I'll call it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Excellent. Things are moving along early. That's great. Yes. And we might have a team person as well. We've got flyers out for the team camp this week. So that's great. That's great. That's excellent. And we did hear, I don't think it made it through the agenda, but we did hear about uh, from Dean Talk that we have a child care person for town meeting. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So thank you, thank you to the rec committee for even for looking. And uh, you know, if you find somebody for the tent, that would be helpful. But you know, we're we'll be grateful to the Saturday one. I did ask some idea of capacity. I mean, it's one person, so you don't want right. to. We might have a limit to the number of kids, and we right. just have to be mindful of that. So I did ask somebody about what that limit would be. So okay, super. Thank you. Uh, tabling job descriptions, policies. Uh, I have a table of job descriptions. Because I haven't had time. I'm waiting on two. Yes, and it, if they're in my, I have them. I have to find them. Don't I have a copy of what they sent you? No. Okay. Okay. They're in my possession, and I just had been okay. I got busy with other things, so I apologize. No, it's okay. It's, it is. Um, okay. <clears throat> Board member activities and updates. Mike? I would table the other thing, too. Sorry. Welfare? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I was... Yes. They're running things down. Um, not just this, this week. On one night, this week. Huh? You're week. filling in for me on Wednesday. I'm going, yes, I have, that's what I on my calendar. I do know about that. I'm going to the um, um, Madbury Town Hall for the Lamprey regional vote. Yeah. And the Seacoast... Uh, okay. Excellent. On the budget. It's the budget vote, right? Yeah. Seacoast Stormwater Coalition is meeting this Wednesday, not last Wednesday, this Wednesday. Did you see that it's at the McConnell Center? Yes. Okay. I get that. So George and I will be there. The budget committee is meeting Wednesday night. Um, I don't think there's anything else happening. That's it. Um, building parts. Thank you, George. Hi, George. Okay. Order. The first one I have is 2018-006, 14 Silver Lane. Doing some alterations to an existing building. Uh, Mr. Clark has reviewed it. The fee is $105. It's electrical work. I don't know why we don't just put it down here. I thought we've seen, I think this is uh, an older resident who sold her house and now someone is buying it. Mm -hmm. So I think we, there was a prior building permit. Oh, well, I see. By the way, $105. Is that one? Next, we have building permit 2017-031. They are constructing a storage shed. Oh, sorry, sorry. 496 Picaris Drive. Sorry. Uh, constructing a storage shed on the side of the property. Tom has reviewed it to $115 fee. They meet the setbacks. So we should be a problem. Nice show. I was going to say, it's quite some. The amount for storage shed, I think. Next, we have a uh, dance and entertainment license application from uh, Dover Bowl. It must be their, their, their annual um, application to hold uh, Who music. Who that before we do? Is anybody? I'm <laughs> reading um, that. Let's see. No, it's just a, does a our renewal of... Um, huh? Does our chief of police look at it? It doesn't have a signature for him. Or just has a select board. It's 
the renewal, yearly renewal. All right, so it's a renewal of something that we always do. Would you have remembered this? Yeah, we, yeah, I remember. I've never signed it. The chair signs it, but um, yeah, we do it every year. It's for it's bowling, amazing. laser tag, music over speakers, bingo, Kino question mark. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, and food slash bar. So they don't have. Um, they do not have live bands, he says. They do not have a DJ. So. Okay. I mean, you can. No, no, no. If this, obviously, it's something that we've been doing, and it's a renewal. So, down at Rollsford. Good thing. It's the same thing. Hundred dollars for a yearly license. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, board, are you good with my signing this? So. So. Okay. So I'm going to say we approve it, and here's my signature. We didn't sign one of the copies last week for Kate for the um, um, ballot mission. Oh, we were supposed were, to sign were, something? There were two copies, remember? We had we signed oh. one, oh. there was two, so we signed both of them. It was a 2018 agreement. Oh, that, yeah, the, ma the there maintenance? There were two copies. Oh, I see, that's yeah. too bad. We yeah. signed ballot mission again. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this is us. All right, just going to sign it again. I signed it last week. Yes, ma'am. Uh, next, we have from the city of Dover. Um, it's uh, regarding the uh, it's a letter of commitment uh, relating to community's intention to participate in Dover's Fall Hazardous House Household Hazardous Waste Collection Day. Uh, the application to the state is due February 1st, 2018. Please send your signed letter of commitment back to me as soon as possible. And we just happen to have a letter here of intent. Okay. Um, that we have appropriated one thousand nine hundred and four dollars. It would have been last year, not what we typically do. It's roughly that. And it, it, signature. it does oscillate back, and you know, usually mm -hmm. just continues to go up, though. But yes. Okay. So, board, are you okay with my signing this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For us to participate in the solid waste. Okay. And did I skip that an agenda item? Was there something up in the uh, <coughs> department chairs about the Dover Police Department? Mm, no, in the yes. fire, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this this just reminded me of, the, of that. So it harkens back to the conversations we've had with Chief Rutherford mm -hmm. about his analog versus digital. and, yeah. and uh, So I did talk to Chief Paul Russo uh, last week at Dover Police. And he apologized for putting us in his spine. He acknowledged that the project had not intended to do to go to do that other this final step that's causing us to have to make an adaptation. He said it was a last minute modification of the project happened at the end of 2017, and so uh, we talked about the implications for us. He did say that. Uh, they thought originally it was going to be about a $16,000 cost, which is what Mark was telling us, mm -hmm. that it would be somewhat over $13,000. So it's not quite as expensive as right. originally estimated. And what we talked about and what we agreed to is that we would have three equal payments on that would be added to our dispatch agreement. So we get the dispatch agreement at the end of, we'll get one at the end of 2018, payable at the beginning of 2019. So there is no, uh, there will be no implication to the 2018 budget, and we'll be able to budget now that addition over the next three years when we work on it. That's the agreement that we arrived at. So I, I think it's the best that we can do under the circumstances. So he will be set. I mean, he'll be sending us an agreement. He's going to have this somebody in his right. shop, right? right? So we'll actually and we'll, right. and we'll yeah. actually do the movement and sign up, right. the motion and sign up. But that's where that's where it stands. Okay. All right. Um, correspondence. Are you done with the yeah, your done with part? So correspondence. Mm -hmm. All right. And we will go into non-public at the end for legal issue. I don't think it made it the agenda. <coughs> Excuse me. Or the mind. 
Okay. Um, purchase order 1376 um, to Garavante. G A R A V E N T A. Oh, that's our elevator folks. Um, under the town hall maintenance line. Uh, emergency elevator repair for $916.75. It was stuck. I remember hearing this. Was okay. a second. So what? What? Um. Yeah. When was this? I needed. Yeah, I needed to ask questions about this too. So it says it's an emergency repair, but the date of service is twelve eleven and one ten. Why am I hearing about this now? I don't know the answer to that question. Okay. But I was here one day when Caroline was saying. Caroline and Andrea were talking about it. it. Was it was stuck? The elevator wasn't moving. Right, because it could keep it on the bottom. Well, no, no, it was even no, it was something beyond that. Yeah. Even, so e even with it not being on the bottom, it wasn't moving. Replaced. So. I can't read his writing. Replace something. Um, this is December. May need to try another or troubleshoot. So replace something, and then on the other day in January, replace. Something contractor and put old reflector back in. Changed operate. I can't read this writing. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is worse than yours. No fun. Um, but mileage, labor, hourly, mile, and uh, for those two days is a total of the nine hundred sixteen dollars. I mean, what what is your I mean, what is the concern other than a breakdown in communication? Send me an email. Let me know what's going on. Uh, Elevator broke. Yeah, we can ask Caroline to do that. I mean, I, I don't think yeah. I, you know, I mean, sometimes Caroline and Richard, the select board should have known about this. And if you say you knew, yeah, I did. Not, well, I knew I knew that there was an issue. I didn't know about this, but I knew that there was an issue. Right. Yes. So I did know, but you know I don't. Uh, if it's something that's not, it's like not my. I, I just it didn't make it to the agenda. If it made it to the agenda, I would have been happy to tell somebody anything. <laughs> it the didn't. It didn't stick cash, in my mind. So that's <laughs> all I knew was it wasn't working. It didn't. Just see the bill you know. for a second. Yeah. So you know. So yeah. It's not covered under our. Uh, we're a small town with limited agreement. resources. You know, and sometimes we. You know, we do. So this is this is a problem beyond that. So this is just uh, yeah. Wow. This is within the agreement. Part of some of these parts were not much of that. I mean, we get some kind of you know discount on the parts, but right. you know, it's not a right. It's a discount. It's, you know, Question: All those in favor, say aye. 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 Is it possible that they told us that we just didn't think about it? I don't know. I, I seem to remember something about the elevator, but not nine hundred dollars worth of something. But well, this is you know the cost is we, we're just finding out about the cost, I guess. Right. But I, I I was aware at some point because I overheard. You know, Andrea came, came in, and she and Caroline were talking about, oh, it was up, it wasn't down, it was still not working, I don't know, it was the cold, blah, blah, blah. It, so, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, what's the word, I wasn't storing any of that. So, so I didn't think it was... I'll let you know, Richard, I was like, notify. Caroline. Or, Caroline. But Richard is the one that takes care of the building. 
Well, not if he's not. He's only here Thursday. Thursday and maybe some for Wednesday. So, I mean, if it's happening, this is an elevator that people need when they're, you know, when they're coming in to pay a bill or something. Pardon? It's tax time. It's a tax time. Okay. So, in December sometime. And so, you're stuck. I mean, you've got you've to do what you have to do. So. All right. Correspondence. Um, so, um, Dave's out. Dave's auto salvage, which we talked about last week. Um, Tom Clark left a note sent. He sent an email to DES today. Okay. That's as much follow up as I got. And everything else is old from last week. Okay, so there's nothing so new or different. Lucky us. No, these are all purchase orders that you signed last week. Okay. That are coming. Well, so, sorry. any community input? Yes, Celia. Um, I have a couple of questions. Last year, when the town meeting came around, there was a school staff member and then um, the assistant director of rec was also there. I don't know if she was hired at that point, but is instead of capping the number of kids, is there an opportunity to request volunteers or look into other people to be there? Background checks. For, um, we, I, we, we called out to the rec commission. I mean, this is, you know, yeah. yes, we support it. We don't necessarily have the resources to make it happen. So if somebody else can help us make it happen, I think the board is willing to pay for it. So right now we have one person. Okay. Thank you. And then I know you guys rotate every three years for re-election. Do you mind if I ask who's up for re-election this coming year? Okay. It is me. Anything else? All right. Are so, you? <laughs> no one. Okay. <laughs> I will then ask for a motion to uh, go into non-public for purposes of review and legal guidance. I think we're going to non-public session for legal issues. Second. We'll call Michael. Yes. Jody. Yes. Who's in the house?